Here it is, the long-awaited 1-1 scale VF1 helmet uh, from the Macross Do You Remember Love movie. Uh, so this has been in production for two years and it arrived a few days ago. Uh, as I said before, 1-1 one, one scale and you could order it in uh, small, medium, large, or extra large. Uh, this fits me perfectly. I went for a size medium and uh, again fully painted of course and it's also pretty heavy so I've got my scale this is a helmet you could use for mortar biking and it weighs 3.4 pounds so, made by the folks at Masse. Um, they're based out of Hong Kong, I believe. And this is your open faced helmet covered by uh, a shell here. Again, it's not a full, a full helmet, it's an open faced helmet with um, shell parts okay so there's your a look inside the helmet underneath you have your strap and it's the padding inside is very well done okay it's adjustable of course Very good materials used for the padding inside. Pretty impressed. Of course, this is uh, fully painted. Uh, you do have to remove this front piece to take off the sticker, which is on both sides of the windshield. Uh, this does not move up or down. stays in place. So it also comes with this decal, the UN Spacey logo. I might be removing this. Um, again, it's a water slide decal. It comes off pretty easily. You just have to, you know, scratch it. Um, doesn't cause any damage. Again, these uh, markings are all tampo printed. There's the back. Here's the other side. Visor. I believe this was uh, printed in red. And uh, the all of the black parts, it's tempo printing. Uh, you could choose several different colors. I decided to go with Hikaru's color scheme from Do You Remember Love? But you could also get... Max, if you wanted to, you could also uh, get Warrior's Color Scheme, uh, Kakazaki, and let me show you another shot underneath, okay, so there's also leather here on the inside, again, this is just uh, your regular open-faced helmet, okay. And uh, all tempo printing here. This is tempo printed. Very high quality as well. And I've tried it on uh, several times. It fits perfectly. Uh, secure uh, the chin strap. Uh, it's snug as well. Um, on the back, there is also. A tag right here, E C E R. I'm not sure if that is the 
um, ECE rating for uh, Europe. But, again, uh, it is not DOT approved for the United States. Mm, uh, again, I don't ride uh, sport bikes. But, uh, you know, I've gone mountain biking several times. <laughs> I might use this uh, while I'm doing some mountain biking. You never know. Uh, definitely not. I wouldn't take this on the highway. It's not, uh, uh, you know, I mean, you never know. It's, uh, it's an open-faced helmet. Um, this doesn't provide any protection here. Uh, so, again, be careful. Going to, I would recommend using this uh, on the highways. But it does look damn cool. Um, so this was around the 289 shipped. Uh, it arrived EMS shipped. And uh, the one thing that's been uh, bugging me, and uh, I've noticed that this was the case with other customers, is that uh, the packaging was not um, as good as it should have been. Um, I'm not sure if this is because the company doesn't have experience shipping overseas, but mine has uh, some damages that may, might have been the cause of uh, um, inadequate packaging. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but there is a small crack uh, right over here. It's right here. And aside from that, it's about the only blemish that I could see. But I've emailed them about uh, getting a replacement, and uh, they've been uh, pretty quick to respond. So they're going to take care of their problem. Uh, again, as I said before, the shipping was pretty awful. Um, the packaging, that is. So it arrived. The helmet was inside this. Masai, Masai uh, bag. It's just a simple cloth bag. The helmet was inside this bag. And this was the box that they used for shipping. Uh, just a plain brown box. Um, yeah, and that was the only bubble wrap that was inside. So I did email them about it, told them about the damages. Um, if you have any damages for your helmet, I would recommend emailing them. Uh, again, they've been pretty quick. Uh, they did apologize for uh, there being damages to the helmet. Uh, they did tell me that they wanted to rush it out uh, for Christmas. Uh, they did ship it on the 23rd. Took about a week to get here. And they did apologize uh, for the damages. They said that they'll take care of me. So I might be providing an update. Uh, to this video in the next few weeks just to let you know um, what's the result so again this is the helmet uh, the 1-1 one, one scale VF1 helmet from the folks at Masai uh, please feel free to ask any questions I think that this is going to be uh, one of the holy grails of my uh, small Macross collection uh, next to the SDF-1 and the VF-4. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks.